a back up at B, bro. Back up at B. That's a back up at B. Back up. Back up at B. They won't let me on my dick. Yo, that's good. <laughs> hey man, it's two gets, it's two gets one at bay, Jim. Oh, I'm not here. <laughs> All right, we are back. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the stream. It's just me right now, but I'm sure everyone will get here. Today we got a special session. So we're gonna be breaking down my gameplay. So I'm gonna be showing you guys about my movement, and then also some simple tips when playing the range class. So firstly, we're gonna go over here into um, VR missions, and we'll do some movement uh, tutorial on some of these maps. Solo missions, training, entrance exam. I've never done this one, but that's interesting. Wait, wait, so you can play music on your Twitch streams? Okay. Oh my god, Zoom over here, bro. Zoom over here, team. Dore for the Chikaraka. Music and what I do, bro. He's an old chief and nigga, bro. He's a chief and nigga here, bro. He's cheating over here for the nigga, bro. Zoom over here, bro. No, man, the nigga's still alive, bro. He's fucking me up over here, bro. Chief and nigga, bro. Dead ass chief and nigga, bro. I'm on here hanging out for, for dead life, bro. On my life, man, hanging for dead life, bro. <laughs> what the? Oh, this nigga is no, annoying. You got it. No! Okay, here we go. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So, the first thing I'm going to show everyone, hopefully uh, my party isn't so loud, actually, let me do this, be right back, see these guys in a little bit. Okay. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I want to uh, let you guys know about, and I'm sure you've seen other videos on it, but uh, there's something called R2 canceling. So you pretty much uh, R2 is a chakra jump. So you can actually cancel a lot of the animations with R2. So you can press square and, and R2 to, in the middle of a combo and it hits the combo. So how does this apply to movement? Well, there's animations that give you lag or as I like to call them landing lag. So, in order to uh, increase your your mobility and your movement, you cancel out this landing lag. So you see this little animation that I'm doing here. My hand touches the ground, and before I can actually move, there's a little lag. But you'll notice that if you press R2 on the ground, you can immediately do your chakra jump. So a chakra jump cancels the landing lag as well. So that's how you uh, move faster. So instead of running straight across, what you can do is you can cancel your landing lag. Like so. And there are faster ways to do this <clears throat> by pressing your L2 button, which is your dash in the air. Then you can jump again. So that's uh, one of the things that'll uh, get you into an elite level. Obviously it takes a lot of practice because you need to know the timing of when you uh, first land on the ground. But once you get that down, <clears throat> it'll become uh, pretty much uh, like muscle memory. You'll do it like automatically. So as you can see right now, if I guard and I block, <clears throat> there's a little lag on that animation. Now if I press R2 just at the right time, now I can speed up my jump. 
of course it's gonna take practice because sometimes you'll like try to press it and then you'll just accidentally use your wire knife. But if you get down the timing by with practice, you can actually cancel your landing lag a lot easier and then you can do some fancy movement, you know? So that's the that's the utility of the R2 button on your chakra jump. So let's go over it again. So you get your R R2, and it and it pretty much cancels your lag. So this lag animation that you have right here, you cancel with your R2 button. Does that make sense? Cool. And this will improve your flag running, just your mobility, your survival ability by getting down. You can also get to play, play places faster. Like say you're over here at a at your home spawn and you want to go and capture B before anyone else. <laughs> like say you're on a, on a base battle, you start you can run right here, come over here, and cancel your landing lag. And you get there faster. It's a lot faster than running. And you don't have to use your mobility jutsu like subterranean or anything to get here fast. You can save that for the actual combat. So now that we've uh, covered casting your landing leg on the ground, let's go from wall to wall. So you can actually cancel your landing leg off your wire kunai. You press, press R2 and you press L2 and you do a little slide like that. Because normally you have this lag, but if you do your slide, you just can just go straight across. <clears throat> so that's the, that's the the easier way to do it. It's not as effective as the the advanced way or the best way to do it, but that's a good way to start. It's a lot easier. And, it, and then it's like uh, you don't have to uh, um, you don't have to um, get the actual like uh, R2 part down as difficult as the next one I'm gonna show you. So the next one is pressing X. This is the way you move a lot faster. <clears throat> so once you hit the wall, you press X and you just jump straight off. So there's no lag. You press R2 and then X once you once you hit the wall. R2 and X. And you just immediately spring forward. So once you hit the wall, R2 and X. And you just spring forward. You move a lot faster than if you were to like regular one. So if you're running a flag, instead of you know, running across regular, you press R2 and X and you just bounce forward. R2 and X. And you'll cancel all that lag animation and you'll move a lot faster. It's helpful when you're trying to get to your uh, your allies faster, you're trying to run away from the enemy faster. Yeah, so R2 has a lot of utility. <clears throat> hey, what's good, Tavios Jones, Chef Gaspacho in the in the chat? What's good, yo? Yeah, I want to do a little tutorial. I know that uh there's been people coming in and out of the game. I've seen a lot of new players here in this uh, red and white battle. So I want to uh, give a little breakdown. Also, um, do a little PR for my clan. A lot of uh, people inside the Shinobi Striker community, they don't think too highly of Chikara. So I'm just breaking down some of the stuff that I use. I'm using all the, the rose secrets or the hidden rose things. They're not so hidden. I actually explain it to everyone. I want to just share my knowledge. And hopefully everyone can uh, have more fun playing the game at a higher level. <clears throat> hey, I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that a lot. I'm glad that uh, my videos are helping. <clears throat> and it just, it's fun to, you know, to have competition, to play this game, and, you know, just to meet cool people and... You know, all that good Naruto stuff. 
So those are the basics to my uh, to my movement. It just takes a lot of practice, but once you get it down, R2 becomes your best your best friend. And that's just simple movement <clears throat> outside of battle. You know, your your lock on actually changes, which we'll see here in a minute, and your dashes change. But yeah, simple mo simple movement to increase your uh, your flag running, your survivability, um, get one one place faster. You know, your missions, all that all that good stuff. So that's that's pretty much it. I'll probably explain it later on in stream for those who are just tuning who tune in later. But yep, R2, your best friend. Does so much in this game. So yep, R2 cancels. Some healer tips. Um, yeah, I can show off some in these uh, oh, yeah, there's another R2 cancel. I forgot. So, there's actually you can actually go up the walls faster. So, let me come down here real quick. Hopefully, I don't die. But instead of running straight up the wall, you can actually press. Uh, R2 once you hit the wall and then X and it makes you move a little faster. Like this. Yeah. So it takes practice, even I'm not a master at that one. But you, yeah, you press R2 or X and you move the wall faster than if you were running. Some people, like, uh, they do it from side to side and it, and it helps them move up faster. Uh, I, don't, I haven't practiced this one as much. But, yeah. You get, you get the point. You see how, how, I'm fast, how much faster I'm going. So it's just R2 and X. I think some people throw an L2 in there. And then they move from side to side. So they just... R2 and R2, L2 and X. You see how I was like moving crazy like that? That's uh, using L2. I just like to keep it simple. Just R2 and X. Yeah, another thing is you gotta position. Because the camera will affect the way you uh, throw your wire kunai. <laughs> so sometimes the camera will get funky. But yeah, if you're trying to get to a place, like especially on the cloud map, try to get to like you fall down, you try and get up faster, use R2 and X and you'll get up faster. <laughs> yeah, you see her? She's just over here just twitching. Yeah, but see? R2 and X, you go, you go up faster. So yeah, that's the utility of your R2 button. Not only does it do your chakra jump and your wire kunai, as well as your substitution, <laughs> it also cancels your lag. Yeah, so there you go. But those are all the R2 tricks that you can do. Also, yeah, so say if you're like coming to an edge, and, you, and that's the normal, how norm, people normally do it. But if you but if you use R2 and X, you can just jump. You see, you can just ninja jump over that edge. So it'll we'll throw you the normal way again. You see, there's that lightning lag, and then you just run right up. But if you're at an edge, R2 and X, you ninja jump that mug. You go straight up. So yeah. My biggest tip to players who are like, who have got the basics down are trying to learn some more advanced stuff, practice your R2 and cancel your, your landing leg. At first it's going to be a little bit difficult, but once you get it down it's going to be like second nature. You're going to do it unconsciously. Like when I'm in a match, I just do, it to, do this unconsciously. And you, you know, move across the maps a lot faster. And there's two ways to jump, like jump across things. Um, there's your double jump, and then your dash. But I know that, um, I see Azula do this a lot. He'll jump, and then he'll uh, dash first, and then jump. I think that he can move faster 
than doing the jump, doing the double jump, and doing the dash. If you like alternate, you can move faster. So whichever one you prefer, they're pretty. They're both, you know, whichever you like your your hands are used to more, I guess. So let's get our jutsu, and then break down some uh, some other stuff. It's been a while since I've been in this <laughs> little tutorial. いいよ、ワールドワールド。ワールドクライ。崖から落ちそうになった時のリカバリーにも使えるから、よく覚えておくように。いや、ボス、ボス、ボスは絶対。Teach me just a good way to end your opponent. So like, if your opponent doesn't have that much health, you come in, triangle square, and they'll get knocked back, and you can do triangle square circle. There's another thing also, we'll probably show you in an actual like match, triangle square. But range types, they have like the best, uh, or like, a pretty accurate homing dash, like it has a good hitbox on it. So you see somebody, you press your, your target, you jump, you do a dash, and then uh, that's called your homing dash, and they get stunned. Homing dash, break your thing. That, that combo right there is square, square, triangle, then circle. You can also do square square triangle X triangle. I'll show you this when the, the people will come. So this one's square square triangle X. Oh, that's so, so this one is a um, square square triangle. Oh, he's teleported. Square square triangle. But the triangle the triangle has three hit animations, so he'll go forward and back. You have to press it twice. So you don't, so you don't have to press it uh, more than once. Square, square. Oh, square, square, triangle. Do you see that last animation? Oh, you don't even lose health in the, in the, <laughs> in these tutorials anymore. I just noticed that. <laughs> Okay, so and then you want to use your homing dash to do your great, your great flame bomb. So they like to dodge and then use your flame bomb. Yep, we did it. We completed the mission, and we also uh, learned how to cancel our landing lag with R2, and we got an A for that. And no scrolls, thankfully, because we don't like those. We don't like scrolls nowadays. Okay, so that was m movement and a little bit of range uh, combat, but now um, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to break down the range weapons, and then uh, we'll go into an actual... Um,
an actual match. Okay. So I, I actually use the I prefer the Kusanagi because of the square combos and it's uh, it has a better range. So that means that it has a wider hitbox. But let me come over here. But it has a wider hitbox. So we'll go to Kusanagi real quick. So this is the one you'll see the most because it's easy to cancel its triangle um, by pressing L2. You can press triangle then L2. It'll cancel that little uh, lag animation. Most range types know this. So you can press triangle, L2, triangle, X, triangle, and you can pretty much spam six kunai at a time and then repeat. They need to make a scroll that gives battle event close that they then they we could yeah <laughs> get the old the uh, old uh, the old ninja world league rewards from scrolls that would be good too so as you can see it has a three on power a four on range has three on speed three hit rate so yeah the range is what's most important because you can actually use your square combo and you can like hunt down people who are trying to escape and if you don't want to like actually use your jutsu because they they sub or your jutsu are on cooldown or you don't want to like just waste your uh, your ninja tool uh, you can press square and chase people down with your homing dash so that's why uh, the kusanagi is preferred amongst most ranges especially ranges who have a uh, aggressive playstyle like myself um, like Jones was saying here in the uh, in the chat, he likes to use uh, the Killer Bee swords. Now these ones, they have an interesting, they have the similar uh, combo starter to every every other ranged weapon. Except for the end, they do a little spin kick. Now I'm not sure if their triangle combos are different, because I actually haven't messed around with the, the Killer Bee swords. But, you know, I can actually try them, see how how good they are in, um, in the mission. But yeah, then here's the Demon Wind Shuriken. Everyone knows how that works. Now, if you want to go for optimal optimal damage or actually kill somebody, then you'll want to use the uh, Sandbone. Sandbone are better at locking down people, and they uh, actually go well with um, both uh, weapons. Whether you're using Kusanagi or you want to do a spam with your uh, <clears throat> your other weapons. Well, we'll just call them. We'll just call them your kunai. So we got Sandbone here, and then we got your kunai weapon. Uh, we'll talk about this maybe in another uh, stream or whatever. Paralysis still, but yeah, they're uh, they're kind of interesting. So yeah, uh, for this video, we'll just keep Sandbone on, I guess, and then uh, we'll try out these uh, hidden leaf short swords. Hidden leaf, hidden cloud short swords. Looks like we got Ratty with us. I don't think he knows that we're doing missions. But, um, yeah, we'll do something that, uh, we need the item for. Like Jigo's earrings. Bird mask. So, um, using the kunai weapon or in this in our case since we have the killer bee swords on the, the swords i feel like it's more for a keep away play style like if you're more of a passive player you like to stay your distance and have uh, the aggressors come to you this is the perfect weapon for that you can uh you can spam your uh, your triangle and your circle a lot easier the opponents are trying to rush at you so you got this and you can dash it. And I know, so what I see a lot of people do who use this, do it like this. They just alternate. So you, you use triangle, circle, triangle. And 
it is good for, for people who are rushing you down. So yeah, let's see these combos. So, so that's the square triangle. So it does a straight uppercut. You could do square, square, triangle, and then you do that spin. And I'm sure you can cancel that into your jutsu. Because they'll, they'll probably fly away. So you gotta collect these, uh... These money. So remember, you need your, your R2. And cancel. You can move. We will buy much faster and complete your mission. But yeah, so basically what you do is you want to use triangle and then use a button to to alternate it. So you can triangle, dash, triangle, jump, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. And that's all you can do in your air. So that's the way you use these weapons. Um, you can also like go in for combos, but it's not as effective. Like you would this one instead of doing like a uh, like a stun, you'll do a it does a hop. You see that like little barrel roll that they do? See? Like a little barrel roll. You can go into your combo. And then that just triangle, triangle, circle knocks him away. So we'll try it on him. So he's gonna do so he's gonna do a hop. And then go in. Triangle, circle. You see how the range is low? Triangles. Uh, this guy is over here. Trying. He does he has a lot of recovery. See if we can do it on another guy. Yep, Porter King. Oh, well. He meant to that guy. Hey, <laughs> yeah, the CPU doesn't follow the same rules. Tri triangle. So yeah, so then you can follow up with that actual jutsu by pressing triangle, triangle, circle with this. Oh, so the combos are a little bit different. This looks like it does the same thing, but you get more hits out of it. A new path has opened. Gamma. No more mobs to actually show more combos out. <laughs> yeah, you're couldn't actually reach us this far. Let's 
So your Tosca Blade is a two animation jutsu. You wanna get in close to use it. So when you're close, it does a hit when it first comes up, then it does a second. Are getting serious. Guard got broken in midair. <sighs> yes, most of the range ultimate requires you to have somebody. Yeah, most of the ranged ultimates, they require to have uh, teammates with you so that you can do, um, like, ultimate, like, combo ultimates. It's like if you use Keating, of course you can use it from far away, but people, ooh, we got, a, we got the actual uh, item we needed. Okay, good, good. So yeah, so like um, most of them require like um, like team help, or else you know they'll miss completely. So flame bomb is pretty doable by yourself because it's a close range, and you know you can you can catch people who are trying to sneak on you, or you can um, what you gonna call it. Or you can use your square to like stun them, or if people are like camping like a base or like a flag. You can also uh, use it on them there. So actually, let's go through the list since we're doing a range tutorial right now. We'll just go over all the all the jutsu, and then we'll go and we'll head into the match. We'll probably have to kick Ratty here because he doesn't know that we're um, streaming, but he's a good guy. You guys ever see him say hi in the lobby? Okay, so ranged jutsu. So you have your short sword, which pretty much has the same combos as this, except for the triangles are different. I did notice that the triangles are different. But the tri what the uh regular triangle just you know pressing triangle and tapping triangle are the same. But your combos are different except for the combo starter it still does that barrel roll which is pretty good for like um using your jutsu immediately after or beginning your triangle spam but normally when you're in that close you want to do a damaging combo and then you got your uh, kusanagi which i think is the best one so um so yeah and then uh let's go through the jutsu 
So Phoenix, uh, so first off, flame bombs, it has a low cooldown, um, a decent damage, it's nothing special. But it uh, shoots fast, it doesn't track, but it is a uh, fast shot and you can ha hold its hand sign. So not one you'll see too often, it is a spaghetti jutsu. We have here your Phoenix Flyer Jutsu, Phoenix Flyer Jutsu, and it says it's best used at close range. So it's a great one to combo with a lightning net, um, but also like if you just want to uh, blast people in the face with a low, uh, low cooldown Jutsu. It only has a power of two, and it only can get that power of two if all the flame bombs hit, which it's pretty good at doing that. Um, but still, it's not, it's like on the weaker end of uh, range jutsu as far as uh, damage is concerned. This is undoubtedly the worst <laughs> uh, range jutsu because it has the longest cooldown for any range jutsu. It has the pretty much the worst range out of any range jutsu, but it does have a power three, so it's a kind of a status element. However, because it's a summoning, people can just kill it off. So. Uh, so yeah, if the people are standing there, then they'll just take eat that damage. But only people that stand there are defense types, and they'll kill it quickly, or they'll just go underground, or pop into a rock, or do whatever defense types do. You guys know the gist. We have this nerf to jutsu has a power of one and a cooldown of 14, but it's still viable. It's real, really good. It lowers our attacks for a while after it's a uh, hit, but also it does a a defense buff during the. Uh, Paralyzed animation. So, yep, still a good one to use. Yeah, you're right. Not many use this Phoenix Flower or Scarlet Claw anymore because people want to go for ult optimal damage or high damage all at once, or else the healer will heal you. You actually see Phoenix Flower or uh, Flame Scarlet Claw a lot more in um, survival mode because everyone is pretty much by themselves so they don't have a healer. So you can actually uh, use a lot more jutsu and uh, test more things out in survival mode. Which is why I like survival mode, because I can be more uh, creative. You'll see this one a lot, because it has good range, has good power, because of uh, how much damage it does over time. You see that? It's increased to 3 power. And that, uh, you know, it has one of the most, one of the best tracking in the game. So yeah, Furn style. It's uh it's kind of a cheap move. Like I feel like it's one of the range's only cheese jutsu. Like this is pretty much cheese, especially in survival mode because you know it's those are free kills, no one can heal this off. But inside of like combat battle stuff, this is our healer, then this move becomes almost pointless because the healer will just heal heal away all that damage. So people won't hold their damage for long. Chidori, I like Chidori, still needs a buff. It doesn't have armor, it doesn't even break guard, people can guard it. It's uh hitbox is it's you know it's a decent, it's nothing like broken or anything, but people can still like dodge it. It's good for mobility, but again, fourteen seconds for a jutsu that doesn't have armor and um doesn't break guard or anything. Like the right kitty, you have armor and it's ten seconds. Of course it's an attack type. But then you think about the other attack type jutsu like um like uh, the that have the same utility as a range type. So like for instance, um, vanishing Rasengan. It's fast. It's hard to see, and it breaks your guard, and it has a two on damage. You know, if it's not a hand sign jutsu, but it's still a really good jutsu, and it's twelve seconds. You know, so it's a, like a range jutsu on an attack type, but our attack pretty much our only attack type jutsu and it doesn't give us the uh, utility of an attack type. So yeah, Chidori can use one more buff. If they don't give it armor, at least make it 12 seconds. Or, I don't know, have the damage on guard increase so that it, like, if you do one hit, the guard will break because right now it just puts the guard on yellow. But like, range types Senbon and Triangle Kunai don't even do that much damage to it. So that's just me saying a little bit about my thoughts on Chidori. <clears throat> they nerfed the damage people um, kept crying for Lightning Net. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of people who didn't uh, like that and were upset. But we have Mad Madara's Fireball as its 
you know, typically called. And the official name is Majestic Destroyer Flame. That has replaced Lightning Net pretty much. So, not too bad, not too bad. Fireball, it's good, 12 seconds. Has good range, wide hitbox. And it has a uh, balanced tracking. It's good to dodge, but it also does a massive amount of damage. It also does a lot of damage on your guard, too. Not as much as Chidori, but it still does a lot, like... Especially if like uh, <clears throat> you've hit them a couple of times, you can like burst somebody's guard with that. Lions also good to use. Slow down people. Good for knocking up the flag with its amazing tracking. Has a quick release in the air. Slow release on the ground, so you almost always want to use this on the in the air so that you can get that quick release. And uh, yeah, pretty much uh, one of the I'd say a top five jutsu along with Fireball. The bird's got a nice buff, ink, but sometimes it's iffy with the ink spotter. It has the same release as uh, Lions. Um, almost the same damage. It uh, can uh, start a combo because it has a pop up at the end. But yeah, the ink spot is kind of weird because sometimes it won't actually cover the screen, it'll just like remove all of the, uh, all of the icons on your screen. So. I don't know, maybe they need to fix that. But other than that, I I like this jutsu. It's not one of the best. Not tap not, not a top ten jutsu, but it's still a good one to use. Like so just to throw people off or to push people back. Especially if you're playing keep away. It's good to combo with your demon wind shuriken as well. If you like using demon wind shuriken. You can like uh what's good, Adi? Adi the kid in the house. I'm just doing a little range breakdown. Adi plays a lot of range as well. You should check him out. He's a really good range type <clears throat> so yeah uh, your birds can uh, hide your demon wind start your bird and start your demon wind and then the birds will carry them yeah like a 15 hit combo off of this <clears throat> c2 dragon low damage low range but the only reason why the range is low is because it it can't move but it's actually pretty good they create they buffed it and they nerfed it at the same time. So in the patch notes a while back, it said that it increased the the, the frequency at which it uh, shoots out. So it shoots out constantly. However, they uh, decreased its health, so it's a lot easier to kill. So you can like hit in like four hits and it like disappears. But it has great range. The missiles have good track tracking. Not a lot of damage, but it's good at interrupting things. And it has priority over every ninja tool. So if there's a ninja tool, it'll just gobble that up and uh we'll hit its target so i i like it it's a pretty good jutsu i'd say for half the top 10 of the range jutsu but it's pretty good twin birds definitely top 10 jutsu um they didn't put this in a patch note but they nerfed and they uh buffed it at the same time this last uh this last update so what they did is they made the birds smaller but the birds move faster. And as you know, the birds have amazing tracking. It's similar tracking to Inferno style flame control. Like you pretty much have to block it if you're anywhere close. But it doesn't break guard, it doesn't do that much damage on guard. However, if you do get hit by it, you're in a barrel animation so you can be followed up with a combo if like anybody's near you. So it's a good uh combo starter because then you can go in and you can use your homing dash if you have the Kusanagi equip and uh begin a combo that way. All, yeah, so um, they beat a lot of projectiles, especially the uh, ink projectiles. Um, they'll, they, they'll pretty much block uh, everything except for Majestic as well. Majestic and uh, the projectiles that go through stuff like uh, Air Bullet. So yeah, pretty good top, top 10 Jutsu. Oh, you never put in any progress to to Daydara? Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta walk unlock Daydara so that you can get the dragon. Have yourself a pet dragon. It's good at uh, guarding points and uh, keeping like you can have your your dragon placed somewhere else, and then you can be placed opposite from it, and then you can like attack opponents from two sides, or you can use your your dragon as a shield and attack from behind it. So they'll eat up your damage. Yeah. With stuff headed your way, and then you can just fire from behind it. So here we go, my favorite jutsu in the game, Amaterasu. This was the only guard break that we had for a long time, and it wasn't even a true guard break because people could still like 
you know, have their sub. But basically, it, like, it's almost instant. You got to aim, though. It's not like a, a tracking jutsu. You can only have people that are, like, pretty much standing still. But uh, it's good for combos. Like, it does damage over time. So if you place it on somebody, and then you can go into a combo, and your hits will... Um, damage will increase because of the damage over time. So it's just a good jutsu. Breaks a lot of uh, things like shine shield and all that. Wish it broke the petrifying jutsu, but nothing breaks that. Yeah, Tavius Jones said it's good for shine shield. So yep, great for shine shield. Great for putting it on a point so people like who jump into it, they get uh they get hurt. I wish it also like if people are standing in it, they also get hit by the animation. They took that away. So like if you if you saw somebody doing rotation and you hit and you used rotation on them or you use your Amaterasu on the person who did rotation, back in the day, after they finished the rotation, they would get hit with it automatically because it's a placement and a placement jutsu and the rotation caster would just be in the rotation frames that they're kinda of like a they could just stand there and as long as they don't move they they won't get hit by the Matarasu. So they, they nerfed it in that regard where like people are just like who have invincibility frames will stay invincible with like from the Matarasu. So I wish they kept it the same because now people could just rotation and move out of it and not take any damage. So it used to be counted to rotation too, but not anymore. Phoenix Flame Scarlet Claw. I used to think this jutsu was bad, but it's actually a really good jutsu. It's one of my favorite. So, uh, 13 seconds. It is pretty good damage. More damage than the average Power 2 um, stuff like uh, like Flame Bombs or it does more damage than Lions. Especially if all the, the, the flame Fireballs hit. If all Fireballs hit, it's close to a 3 on damage. Um, the striking is kind of wonky, but uh, you at least hit one or like one to three uh, on average. But if you hit all six, it's some great damage. Uh, it's slow; it has a slow animation on the ground, but um, in the air, it's a little bit faster. It's still kind of slow, but in the air, it's faster. It's great for like hitting, like for knockbacks. It has a pretty good wall splat. Um, what else did I want to say about this? Oh yeah, and it's a it, the fireballs fly fast, so if the person is like, um, they got a distance and they're not moving from side to side. They're like trying to run away from you, they'll get caught. Um, but the, however, it does like it does like ex, like spread out first and then go, then they all come in together. So it kind of has like a weird trajectory. But yeah, it's one of my one of my new favorite jutsus. It's not. I don't think it's top ten. But it's, it's, you know, it's a uh, pretty good uh, range jutsu. Uh, Agilic Advent. It got a buff. You're really fast when you use it. It's still on the lower half of range jutsu. It's not top 10. It's pretty it's pretty low. But it's still fun to use. Um, it lasts for a while as well. 12 seconds. And you have good mobility. But most range types, they, they're not support range types. They're more of a... The, the damage, you know, damage you really don't really support the attack types, but this has good carry. So if you get a combo with these, uh, these paper shuriken that it throws out, you can actually get really high up there with uh, the combos that were can do real good damage. But you know, most people are moving, so it's kind of hard to get that combo started. But it's good for your survivability, just not very good in team fights when you're trying to you know, take out another player. A lot of people do use it for flag battle, especially with the buff now that you move a lot faster. But you don't have any armor, so it's like, you know, there's that. So, I mean, you can't replace an attacker, but attacker taps have armor on their movement jutsu. So, that's one thing you gotta be aware of. Also, the animation, just the startup is kind of slow. So, you gotta make sure that you're in, in safety for to use this. That way, you can stay in safety because you're really fast and you can dodge really well in the air. Shigigami Dash Shield. This is a really good jutsu. Really slept on. It does a nice debuff when they're inside there. And uh, it blocks pretty much everything except for Majestic. Majestic just gobbles up everything. But yeah, it blocks a lot of things and they increase the speed on it. So you can actually use this for cover to go in for your um, your combos. Also blocks um, 
blast bombs. So like if you're on base and you're trying to hold the, hold the base and you see a, uh, like a defense type or anybody coming, just throw this up. It goes through walls as well. So um, you can actually catch people off guard like if you are behind the wall. The thing is that do you see that go through walls? That will go through this as well. So like your your shark bombs and your um, snake thrusts and all that, it doesn't block any of those uh, juice that go through wall. Here we go, Big Daddy, 16 seconds. The Jutsu that does everything. So every pretty much every class has one of these, except for the healer, I think. But like uh, Leaf Rising one, you have armor, you break guard, it has insane tracking, has 14 second cooldown, good damage, and it leads to a combo. That's pretty much the attack types. Universal Jutsu, Snake Thrust on defense, it breaks guard, it gives them health back, it goes through walls. And it has a knock, nice, like a far pushback, and it slows you down. So that's the defense type universal jutsu. Here's the range types. They finally gave us one. So this one, it breaks guard. It gives a damage over time. It breaks sand shield. It, it breaks um, wood dome if it if it activates. It has a six on damage, and the the uh, tracking is insane. It has nice tracking and a really wide hitbox, and it has priority over every other projectile. So it's a really good one. Everyone knows it. It's the new meta for range types. So majestic. Here we have hiding in the ash has a you know one in power. It kind of like does a smoke bomb effect. Twenty five. Now this is the thing that they need to fix. Yeah, it does need. It needs to break into the stone rock. They need to have jutsu that breaks into the stone rock. At least ultimates that can break the stone rock because that thing is overpowered right now. But there it goes. The second sentence. It explodes on activation and restores the user's health while in effect. Now every range main or even people who just tried want to try the jutsu out knows that it doesn't restore your health. All it does is it removes status element. But it also gives you a. Uh, uh, right there reduces the user's ninjutsu cooldown, so it actually gives you a buff on your your next jutsu. So while this is active, your next jutsu cools down faster, and it gives you that mobility, you know. But nah, uh, it's it's a decent jutsu. I want to say top ten. It didn't make top ten like Majestic Destroyer Flame did. So um, yeah, I mean it's a fun jutsu to use, but most range types will want to be the damage dealer, and you can't really do that hiding in the ash jutsu. So, yeah, we have multiple striking shadow snakes. So definitely not top ten. Has two power, but you know, sorry range. It does do poisons, but the damage. Uh, I think they can. They're taking the poison into consideration. The thing that this jutsu does well is that it has a lot of uh, knockback, and it goes through walls. A lot of people don't know that it goes through walls, but it's kind of like the range type snake thrust in a sense. Not as you know versatile. It doesn't have that knockback. Like that, as good a knockback, um, or like restores your health, but it does give a, a debuff so that you poison them. It does do a lot of hits, and uh, it has a, a good knockback, and it goes to walls. So, yeah, it's all right. Not 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 the best, but um, pretty good when you're trying to be an aggressive range, and you can put it at the end of your combos. They rushed it. That's why it don't do, don't heals health. Yeah. So I think they at first they intended it to heal your health, but then they took it off. They don't want it to be too much like subterranean, or they just don't want to give range types any moves that heal them, so we don't have any like ultimates or any normal juice that give us our health back. Wind style, great breach, 14 seconds, two of power, but it's on the lower end of power. It doesn't do as much damage as Fireball or Chidori, but, but it but it does um, shoot through walls and it has a fast animation. Like it's almost it's almost instantaneous. The tracking is kind of bad. Like if people are moving from side to side, they won't hit you won't hit them. But it has a great knockback. So it does a really good knockback. And so like if uh, enemy subs below you and there's a pit and you hit them with this you can like knock them into the hole the only thing is that again the hitbox isn't very big and the tracking is like it it tracks where they was not where they're going so yeah you gotta like pretty much time this but it's a pretty good jutsu not top 10 but it's a it's a good jutsu 
Yeah. The other classes that aren't healing have healing jutsu. Attack type now has uh, healing jutsu. They only had healing ultimates for a time, but now they have healing jutsu. So good for them. The 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 attack types needed something because they lost a lot of their uh, viability when uh, all their uh, taijutsu moves got nerfed. Took out the invincibility frames, nerfed the claws, and the attack types are just regular people like range and uh, healers. <laughs> So there we go, 15 seconds. Wild Dragon Jutsu has great tracking, especially from a distance. It does good damage. And now it says a power of two, but it, it's like Phoenix Flame. It's on the higher end of power of two. So it does pretty good damage. And it goes through walls. But that's pretty much it. Like, good tracking. Has a decent knockback. Like, it's all right. Nothing special. But uh, it has good damage and good tracking. So, like, if you're on a flag battle and... Uh, Somebody was off your flag, you could snipe them. Or if somebody's trying to run, or it's on a, like a big map, like a cloud map, and they're just running away, you can just use this and hit them through the wall. So yeah, it's a really good jutsu. Definitely top 10. Seven so Wave. This is my twin Azula's favorite jutsu currently. Uh, it's very underrated. It has a power of two and a range of two, but it actually can one-shot people because of the, the new... Um, debuff that it added. So at first it came out, it was a garbage jutsu. Didn't really do much. Just uh, put people into a permanent perma stun, which means that they had to fall down. If they didn't have a substitution, then they had to fall down. So if they like a pit map and you got hit with this, you just go straight into a hole. But now that they fixed perma stuns, this uh, move just really isn't that good. But then they added, a, they added a buff to it the first time. So they made it a guard break. Now they added a buff a second time. So it actually right there in the second sentence it will damage target and lower the defense so that lower the defense is really crucial because of the last sentence that it does yeah it's very slow it's a slow jutsu like uh <laughs> like because it has a lot of hand signs it was good black fang welcome to the stream brother so it is a slow jutsu because of all the hand signs that it does but it's actually very underrated because of this last sentence if it hits the ground a geyser will erupt and do additional damage. So combined with that debuff, like say if you got an enemy in a corner and you or like you're above them and you can uh, have that um, that geyser hit them, it'll actually like kill a full health person if all the hits hit them because of the debuff, because of the two on power. It's just a really powerful jutsu. But you gotta be able to use it right. Only like pretty much ranged masters can use it. I'm still trying to learn the angles at which you can get that that uh, geyser spray but because of the debuff it's actually really good jutsu um top 10 uh it maybe maybe it moved it to top 10 with this last uh, defense buff it might be top 10 but um as of now it's hard to tell so my current top 10 jutsus before we actually get into some gameplay we have uh majestic as number one it took a it took that number one spot from my favorite Amaterasu or Lightning Net. One of the two can be. But since Lightning Net got buffed or nerfed, we'll say that Amaterasu is second place. So top 10, we have Majestic at 1, Amaterasu at 2, Lightning Net at 3, Lions at 4, Fireball at 5, where is Inferno Style Flame Control at 6? Water Dragon at 7. Deadly Clay Twin Birds at 8. Let's see. Um, Chidori. There's Chido Chidori at 9. And then. I want to say C2 Dragon is 10. With Phoenix Flame, Scarlet Claw, or Shigigami Dance Skill coming in at 11. So those are my top 10 Jutsu. Um, those are the ones I think are the best to use. They can be used in multiple game modes. I mean, most of them can. Some of them, like C2 Dragon, is probably best for flag or base battle, but... Uh, yeah, so that's a breakdown of all my jutsu. Let's get into some matches now. What do I have on here? Beast Scroll and Birds. King Consort Sword. 
do this one real quick. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show off is... I guess I'm going to show off um, Lightning Net and Chidori. Just because you'll you'll see these kind of combos mostly. Chick chat worker. You tried to make Ty Lee from Avatar? Uh, I bet that's pretty tough. Yeah, so we got Ratty here, but uh Maybe he'll be good. We'll go into survive mode real quick. Yeah, just esoteric scrolls. Yeah, I don't know. They need to do something with red and white battle. Like, probably just remove the event, because I know what they're trying to do with getting more people to play with other people. So they can meet more people, which is how I met a lot of my friends. Oh, you see that uh, tip at the bottom, rolls tip? Defense types have limited mo movement. So that's supposed to be the defense type's weakness, but they really don't have limited movement. Uh, they have human boulder, subterranean, their homing dash is crazy, crazy good. Like, do they really have limited movement? No, that's not, that's not a weakness. Okay. So we're in here with Ratty. Ratty's a cool guy. So what, we, what I wanted to show you guys is uh, for the first tip of range, especially with the Kuzanagi sword, is your uh, your homing dash or your square. So we'll go ahead and we'll attack these defense types, I guess. Or actually, Kakashi. So homing dash, you see how they're stunned? Going off one though. I'll get this real quick. So, homing dash, square, square, triangle. Oh, got hit by small bombs. You can do your back triangle, dash triangle. See how fast that was? But you see how I'm using my uh, my RT to make my mobility faster? That's a good gear combo in there. Come in, homing dash, square, square, triangle. But yeah, <laughs> that's your combo. Square your triangle and then you use your jutsu. Your lightning net to stun them and then either your fireball, your great breach, your tree dory. That's like one of my good combos. Yeah, that'd be good if there was a real practice mode. So that you can like see damage and stuff. So square, square, triangle. Square, triangle. See? That's pretty much your, uh, that's a one shot. You can, you, you can do a, a full 100%. So you triangle. So you, you triangle, triangle. So that's why people, because you see how fast the, the Kusanagi triangle is? Come in here. Oh. Yeah, that's your, that's your, uh... He's about to die. So what you want to do, like if somebody who's attacking you, oh. 
you can go into the four hour mission. That's crazy. Actually, you can cover with the home dash. Coming with the homie dash. Coming with the homie dash. <laughs> Yeah, so that upper that you're suggesting make your combos longer. It's actually it's pretty good when you use your square square triangle and you cancel that with your R2. So you see how you can cancel that with your R2? So you go square oh sorry, three squares. So three squares, R2, three squares. R2 score triangle. I think that's how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, that was the biggest tip as a range type is, um, Pretty much uh, use all your utilities that is uh, that's there for you. So firstly, to like to improve your survivability, because you know as range types they have really low life. Practice your your R2 cancels. Learn to move better around the map. By doing so, you'll become a more efficient range, and you'll be able to get your your jutsu off more accurately, and uh, be able to be a, more of an asset to your team rather than a liability. And the second thing, yeah, use all your all your tools. So a lot of range types will just press triangle. They won't know about the, using your square. So especially if you want to like play at a higher level and use like the optimal stuff, I recommend Kusanagi over the other um, weapons because the weapon the other weapons have better like are easier to spam your triangle because the I think the their triangle on the kunai go farther or further than the um, Kusanagi, but the Kusanagi is really fast. It's kind of it's, it's like pretty inaccurate on a moving opponent. But then again, all the range types triangles are pretty inaccurate, no matter regardless of which weapon you choose. But um, yeah, Kusanagi is better in team fight because you do more damage. Let's go to the board, Sonia. Yeah. You come in, you press square, you let it glide, go into your combo. You can like see. Okay. You come in, square, square, triangle. And there. Insta kill. That can insta kill full health um healer and range type, I believe. Regardless of their word health or not, but we'll have to try that out next time. But yeah, it's pretty much the combo you're looking for. So what you want to do to normal people is you want to just use your send bone to bait out the sub. So you just see soccer sub. So now she can't sub. Then you go into your combo. What's good, Azula? Welcome to the stream. Triangle square for legs for me. But you do triangle, dash, triangle, square. So you so what you can do, if you especially if you want to save your spec your send ball, is you can use uh your other buttons to cancel and to give your kunai. So you'll do triangle, L2, triangle, and you can do X to cancel it. So it'll look you know you guys have seen it. You guys know how it looks. So triangle, dash, triangle, X, triangle. We did. So come in. Square, square. Uh oh, get okay, conscious back. So there's like, so there's actually another combo, but I'm not the best at it. So I have you have to ask Azula to teach you it. Ooh, Kakashi had priority on that one. 
but there's a there's a square 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 so three squares and then a triangle triangle so to do these so to do these kicks that are kind of slow and they have a bad range so those kicks right there especially that last hit see how the, that that range on it it's really bad and it's hard to confirm into it's easy on these guys but square square there's like see there's gaps in there uh, you can actually block you can actually block those, I believe, in a real match. But yeah, with the Kusanagi, you want to use your square a lot because you have three on damage and four on range. So you can do these homing, these homing dashes, and they do this nice stun. So you can like start a combo. If you get this animation where it's just that like smack, what you want to do is you want to press square square and then L2 so you can get a longer combo. I'll show you how it looks like. On board so. So you come in. So you jump. Square square dash square square square. So you can get five hits in the air instead of three. But yeah, that's basically how I play. You use square a lot. Uh, cancel your animation lags. Use your triangles. Use Kusanagi. All that good stuff. So a lot of, like, once you get this, like, like just these basic skills down, applying them and getting experience from them and actual batch matches will help you in the long run. So, um, so yeah, let's actually, let's go into a, sorry, Raddy, we'll see you next time, bro. So let's actually go into a survival mode and apply what we learned. Holy score button, yep. So looks like we got a good set of people here. <sighs> Probably some defense types, some attack types using shotting gun. But we'll use um our movement for whoever fights us and we'll try and we'll get uh get the victory out on here. We might not get first, but we'll we'll do our best to get top three. So remember, use R2 to cancel your landing lag to move better. And then use your squares. Well, first, you bait out your su the, their sub with um, with your send bone. And then you use your squares to do optimal damage. So you got one, two, some of two attack types, three attack types. Yeah, so we're at a disadvantage because we have attack types, which is the counter to range types, believe it or not. Especially if they have shutting on. Yeah, that move right there. Leaf Rising Wind. Super fast. So I guess this is our opponent right here. So we'll let him get the first hit. Oh, now we got a defense type too. So we didn't bait out the sub. Ooh, somebody died over there. I'm kind of lagging a little bit too. But uh, well, I guess we'll attack this guy again. So you do square. Oh. Okay. People are just flying around everywhere. <laughs> it's a lot. I guess he has shouting on or something. I want you to block. No, oh, yeah, he's getting the full treatment right there. He goes into his uh, little rock. I guess we should just all attack the defense type, huh? So we'll do that on him. 
Oh, okay. Guess not. He got his spam, so it's gonna be hard to fight that guy. But I guess we get we got the point here. So we go into our thing. He didn't use his sub. There, there's his sub. So you go in again. Oh. <laughs> That's hard, you know? <laughs> you get over here with uh, a bunch of people stealing kills and whatnot. If you had a good Wi-Fi, you'd be able to track it up that. <laughs> but yeah. Tank battle, you gotta have your health, your self heals. Yeah, you, know, you can play this as a range, but you gotta like st actually still kill. So, this build that I'm using, not the best build. Where's this guy? So, he, he uses sub. All you have to do is just hit him with once and then do that. There you go. Thanks, a lot of people just died. Let me just charge this up real quick. We gotta kill the guy in first place again. Oh. Shotting gun. Okay, get up. Fight him. I'm getting targeted by this attack type. That's one of the things you'll see a lot. Okay, he's over there. He's your square. We didn't, get, we didn't get uh we didn't get in the top three but you guys see why <laughs> now if we had used our uh our rage type of how we we're supposed to in these type of these type of battles instead of showing you like 1v1 fighting or anything then i think we could have got top three but hey we didn't go negative so that's that's good But yeah, uh, Lightning Net and Shidori isn't the best, especially Shidori, because you don't want to be in the mix of things. Like you said, every time I went in, to just be hits from all around. And as a range type, your uh, your health is really low. You don't want to be in the mix of things, especially in survival mode. But as you can see, I survived a lot longer because I was canceling my animation and I had good mo mobility. So I was only I only died twice, even though I was targeted multiple times. So uh, we'll go in here and I'll show you a build I like to use in here. It is, it is it's like it doesn't consist of uh, the normal the norms, but it's a build that I like. I also try to avoid using the meta like fire like the big fireball. 
but this one right here lions and scarlet call y'all saw this early in the stream but that's i really like that one this is kind of a variant of it lions and uh beast scroll but yeah i really like this one it's really fun And it's Fallen Hope. I think that's a newer clan. And I saw them posted on the community. But yeah, you like especially the attackers who use Shotting Gun and Rising Wind, you'll be able to deal with them a lot easier by canceling your landing lag. So you'll you'll uh Stay your distance, you'll use your send bone to bait their subs out, and then you can, uh, when you finally bait their subs out, you have better range on your square chart on your square attack. Their square attack is faster than yours, but your yours has better range. So when you get hit, you'll just get hit, but they'll actually get stunned. So we'll see who comes over this way. So, yeah, I like this, this uh, combination because uh, it's pretty good to use. Let's see. There's some battles of a fight over there. And a fight over there. Oh, the lag's still here. This guy. You gotta take this guy out. Except for he's super laggy. Two healing jutsu, okay. Well, he just decides to run off. I think he's just trying to charge his jutsu. You're back. And 
And we did it! See the range of the tracking on that? It's pretty wonky at the beginning. Yeah, dash sort of attacked in Susano. So what you want to do is you want to stagger them first. But if the if they have their uh, their their substitution, then you gotta um you gotta make sure that they use it. It's a lot trickier when you're uh, fighting um shotting gun users because they they're, they're faster than you. Of course, the attack types are the fastest class, so they can dodge a lot better. And then they also have two subs, so you gotta like, you gotta bait out their their um their subs. And it's hard to do if they're just running away and playing hit and run. Which is why it's the cheesiest. It's like a cheesy form of fighting, which is what you saw the defense type doing. He just runs around, doesn't really have combos, and then he just waits for his jutsu, and he'll like beat you over time. Because, you know, you don't have any healing jutsu, but he does. And the thing about the rock is that it's invincible. And you get a defense buff as well as your health back. And it lasts for a long time. And then um, you can run away. You know, you got faster mobility using subterranean plus it heals. So, um, you gotta, like, the, the window, you can actually knock them out of those jutsus. But the window is super small. So, it's not really a true counter to any of those jutsu. But yeah, I like to use this one in uh, in the survival mode because as you saw, we did a little bit better. Just because you got more range. You can keep your distance. You can chase people down. You can also steal kills. You can actually make them spend their sub so that you can go in for your, uh, your ultimate jutsu or go into a combo. So that's why I think uh, Phoenix Flame Scarlet Call is pretty good because it, it's really fast and it has good damage if all six flame bombs hit. And also, lions is good because it slows people down so that you can actually go into them. Also, you can initiate your um, your homing glide from both those jutsus. So after you hit it, you can actually homing glide like as if you press circle or if you press um, L2, because those are also just buttons that you can use to initiate your homing dash. Yeah, and the lag was bad in there, so uh, we could uh, we probably could have killed that defense type if we weren't like hopping over and we can actually like see his movement a little bit better. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of lag, but I don't have the best internet, so I tend to lag. when I'm streaming. DKL Wavy Boy with godlike stats. I think he's from Digimon. So we'll use some more another build. Let's do Severing Wave and Shikigami Dance Shield. So both these uh, Jutsu don't have the best of range, but they both do a defense buff. If we put somebody in a Dance Shield, we can actually practice um, our Severing Wave angles so that we can see which angle we can get the splash back and do a lot of damage. So hopefully the lag isn't too bad. Hopefully it's kind to us that we can uh, do some more experimenting. Again, thanks for everyone for coming through and uh, being participants in the stream. We're doing a little tutorial here. So early in the stream, we did movement. Right now, we're doing some range tutorials and also just you know testing out some stuff. And we're here in survival mode, where people have to hold their damage. 
But yeah. You can also cancel your juice by pressing L2. Good trick. And if you do it, you can actually do it faster. If you get a good rhythm. Yep, yeah, that's our shield. 10 seconds on the shield, so really good. Let's see, so we got one silver. So we're, it's our turn to fight the Akatsuki guy. So we'll just use this to block and then we'll just surprise him. Wow, that was quick. That guy was level one. Okay, so this guy has some pretty good jutsu. Okay, he subbed up the first one. You don't, you don't really want that. So hopefully we'll get both of these guys. Oh. He got shot and gone and thing. It took a lot of damage. I didn't even realize how much damage it took. This guy's almost dead. I guess we'll still lose. Does he gotta hold this? I guess he does. This guy's a dangerous guy to fight. Uh oh. Yeah. We got this flame damage on us. Yeah, first off, Flame Control is really good to use in here. Except for when it's like a lot of uh, takes, because it'll just heal that off. And you haven't done enough damage. So, we'll. Uh, I think everyone's dead but you and me. See that combo extender? Yeah, I already knew. You can just fly through it. Make him sub. Oh, we killed them in mid Rasen Shinko. Yeah, you can do a lot of damage because of the two debuffs, especially if you hit multiple times. Then you'll just kill somebody. But not bad. This Senna guy was active. He was active in killing everybody. The um, rogue dude didn't want to lose his debt, so he got out of there with quickness. <laughs> yeah, I think the armor on um on that uh Severn Wave kinda helped me out there a little bit. <laughs> he was not expecting that. But um, so since we've been talking about the square and how great it is and that homing dash that we can use to stun our opponents, actually a lot of uh, classes get that stun. Defense, attack types, and healers can uh, do that. Can do that stun. So what you'll do is you'll dash in with square, 
and then there'll be a, an animation that'll cause the stun. There's different ranges for each type, for range type is the easiest to use the homing dash with. And then you can actually go into whatever combo you want, either use a jutsu while they're stunned or initiate a combo. So if you're just starting off and you don't know any ranged combos yet, but you want to improve your game drastically already, uh, just use the stun and then use your combo, your jutsu combination. If you got lightning net, use lightning net, then follow it up with whatever else you got. Um, if you got paper, you can stun them and use your paper. But yeah, every uh, every type has the stun. It, you just need to find the right weapon and learn the uh, the correct distance for uh, how to initiate the stun. So range, it's pretty easy. You can't be too close to use it, or else you'll do the uh, the air combo animation. It, it requires you to be a little bit farther back. Some uh, I think attack types and defense types, you can actually be closer, and you won't get that uh, uh, animation. Range types. Or sorry, healer types. They they actually a lot of their attacks put you in that stun animation. They don't last for long, but they can do it on a lot of their attacks. Put you in the stun animation, or their first attack. Sorry, not any attack, just the first one. So that guy has shotting gun, and he's coming straight for us. Oh, oh so they got hit with our. Uh, Thing. So he's out of subs, so what you do... Oh, this thing... But... So you hit him like this. Oh. Shot gun. Okay. Yeah, you want to bait out the sub. You saw some people, they just sub immediately. Put him in one of those. Stun him. Oh, he got it out that quick. Okay. I don't know if we got... Oh, I think our clone hit, hit those guys. So we could still kill. Oh. Yeah, our, uh, my, both my Jutsu is in long range. Yeah, all the same heavy. Different combos with square, the same heavy. Dude, we're both invincible. Yeah, this is a basic uh, lower level guy. Wait, so you find sub. You're gonna eat that. So you wanna back up, come in. <laughs> or you can lag. Charge up your... Ooh. So everyone decided to come this way, huh? Ooh, he had to eat that. <laughs> that sucks to suck. He's dead. Oh, he survived. Shot again. Oh, somebody fell into the paper. Okay, we got her. She had subcharged. Uh oh. Want some revenge? Shotting gun. Square. It's another sub. He's gonna run into the shotting guns charged. But we won't let that happen, will we? No. Don't mess with that guy. But yeah, you see how powerful the rage stun is, especially if you have, uh, if you practice your movement, movement to move around, and then uh, use your stun to go into your combos.
poor Sakura. Hey, welcome to the stream, Pat. Appreciate it, bro. But yep, that's pretty much how I play. Just the R2 cancels and just using your square and your triangles and your circles. The mainly square. A lot of range types don't use your square. Gotta use your square. What else do we have? This one's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm just a really big fan of Phoenix Flame Scarlet Claw because of how fast it is. It's like a, I don't know, it's not really up there as far as like how compared to the other rage, top tier rage jutsu. Like, like I said earlier, it's like 11 or 12 with Shikigami Dance Shield. And some people might have a different opinion on the top range jutsu. But I feel like uh, the my top 10 is the jutsu that can be used in multiple game modes and can complete a range type's job more efficiently than the other ones on the list. Because the range type always has to be moving because of the low health and always has to be uh, dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, same here. I used to use the... Uh, before I used the Kusanagi, like back in the day, I used to always use the other one and just press tri try on square. Okay, so we got the defense type gun fighters. Oh. Eat that. And even though we have health pads, that still took about 40% of our health. Okay. Guy has a guy has a toxic build. Call me. What level is he? Oh, he's a silver rank. PSN Chaos. I don't know who that is. But he has wood strangle, so crazy. So you want to just chuck a jump that, jump backwards. I thought so you dodged that pretty easily. Still gotta eat those. Come in with our square. Square, square, triangle. Must have uh, hits hits the first place guy, or st stole the kill or something. But yeah, I guess we'll fight this guy. Oh, we killed somebody over there. Gets on the birds too. Birds and flame control. That's a good combination. Especially with status elevate. Take this. Oh, no. Oof. Oh, he had to eat that. 
kind of sliding around on my screen. Oh, flame control. No, it wasn't gonna dot at me there. But at least we have our ults uh, teed up. So if anyone takes our first place, we can get it right back. Oh, like this narrow guy. That was quick thinking. <laughs> I was trying to use my um, Susano to cancel <laughs> to like defend me right when I went in, but instead he ended up canceling it. But the first animation will still hit, so <laughs> that was that was funny. What red and white team am I on? I am on a toad side. I'm a toad. Tiggity toad. I believe the toads are still in first place on PS4. But I don't know. I haven't been in red and white in a long time. Red and white. The game modes are good. Like People like base battle the most and then combat battle. But people will like to play with their friends even more. So they'll go to quick match. Where you have game modes like Flag and Barrier, which aren't very popular. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow is the last day for Red and White. I have all my rewards except for the victory rewards. That's what Terex. I hope we don't win so that we don't have to get more scrolls. You are on Snake in the Grass. Cool, cool. So what else do we have that we can show off? Well, we've been showing off a lot of uh, Scarlet Claw. I guess we can do some Majestic since... Uh... Since we have it. Chidori and Majestic. I think I don't have healing on this. Do I have healing? Yeah, this short respawn time. It's gonna be harder with short respawn time because, well, after I g get a kill, that little health actually does a lot, especially for a range type. Like, it extends your life a lot, even though it's a little bit, even like, just the little things with your movement, little chip can go a long way. So remember, practice your movement. If you haven't seen the the first part of this uh, stream, go back and uh, see my movement tips. I talk about uh, canceling your landing lag and uh, just any with the R2 button, your chakra jump. You gotta practice because sometimes you'll actually use your wire kunai before you touch the ground. So practice uh, using your R2. So um, whenever you touch the ground, R2, L2, which is your dash, or R2, X, which is your jump. So what I like to do is I like to press X, then uh, X to go into, into the air to float forward and then um, press L2 and then press X again and then when you land into the ground press your R2 X R2 X uh, I'll just demonstrate at the beginning of this match <laughs> so you guys know what I'm talking about but yeah canceling your landing leg that's what you gotta do to increase your mobility on the ground and then uh R2 X on the wall. Oh, this is loading pretty slow. Rolls tip number three. Each ninja master has their own roll type. Good to know. Good to know. So we got a defense type. Yours truly. Kaneki's playing as Sasuke. We have a attack type, another attack type, and a bot. Or are we all bots? Looks like we're all bots. So yeah. 
There you go. Let's see you move faster. Across the, across the ground. Like this. So when you lag like that and does that little like float thing. So when you lie on the ground, you press R2, you press X, you dash forward, you press X again. Lie on the ground, R2, like that. So once you practice that, you get a lot better at moving. Guys, eat that since they use their soap. And go ahead and uh, charge up our jutsu again. Check the bot. <laughs> I guess we were lagging. Cause that thing went right through it. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely lagging this one. I told him. Now they gotta hold that. I guess they'll hold that too. So yeah, if, had we had um, if we had our uh, our health, we wouldn't read this bite of a spot. But since we don't have our health regen, we're kinda in a pickle here. Dash, jump, then normal jump, okay. How do you mean, dash? Like this? Cause this, I also, I, this is the way I used to do. This this way is like, like quicker, like if you like, wanna be easy in your thumbs, and your fingers, use it like this. You can do two jumps too. What the heck? Thank you, you. Oh, he's about to die. So we hit him with the... Ooh! <laughs> Somebody just smacked that guy. Uh-oh. Somebody just got reapered. We always keep a flame bomb just in case. <laughs> People want to throw a re reaper at us. Yeah, dash jump and normal jump is also a great way to move. It's also faster than regular running. It's easier to do as well. So, whichever way. I, the the one that I'm showing is a little bit faster. It's faster than dash jump, but dash jump is pretty good too. So yeah, we didn't really get any one, 1v1s in there. We are pretty much just stealing kills <laughs> but that's what the majestic is for especially in this game mode buying up flame bomb like just a regular flame bomb jutsu that's pretty good the flame bomb has a eight second cooldown so but then again lighting that has 14 so if you want to combo them then yeah, that's good too, but um, but yeah, so we'll go into red and white, we'll get some more points for the toad, and then we'll uh, end the stream. Space and combat, it's gonna be a lot harder because there's uh, been teams in here and we're lagging, so we'll see how this goes. Boom, boom. Yes, that's good, but the thing about lightning at the flame bomb is you can, you already actually will kill anyone using uh, lightning at a flame bomb. Oh, there we go. The internet connection quality is poor. 
So lightning net isn't really necessary unless you need the extra time to uh, stun them. But yeah, or if they have like a defense buff on them, you can use that as well. But mo mainly flame bomb does the trick mostly. Unless people like you, they have a sub and they're charging straight at you, you can use the lightning net to stun them so that you know you don't get hit, and then you use flame bomb. So yeah, lightning net flame bomb to me is more of a defensive tactic than a uh, offensive. Now, like to start like using an offensive with lightning net is like keeping, or like any like longer range jutsu. You hit somebody. Lighting it from afar, and then you can uh, use your next move. So Keating is the best for that. Um, I might work with some other jutsu, like a uh, size uh, beast, uh, god thingy. Might work for that as well. Might actually work for the Susano, but. Yeah, the farther will people away, the more linear it is. So what do we got here? They got me with the. F they got those guys who look like higher levels. With me with these low level attack types. So what we'll do is we'll do our classic Amaterasu and Majestic. Amaterasu is a good placement jutsu. People on the trying to run to the base, they'll get hit with it, and then Flame Majestic clears that out. And they also have to hold uh, that burn damage. Gotta, I think I do not believe that the burn damage stacks. So if you put people in a Matarasu and you hit them with the majestic, they'll take the majestic burn damage, which is a lot shorter than the Amaterasu. So keep that in mind if you're trying to get optimal damage. Have people in the try to like use majestic first, and then use a Matarasu so that they can hold the full uh, status ailment. Because I believe the two status ailments are different. The same thing works with snakes. You can't stack snake and, f and burn damage, uh, Matarasu damage. So here we have two range and two attacks versus versus two range of defense and a healer. Yeah, they put a full team silver on that scene. But yeah, so like we said earlier, use this to get here quicker. Okay. Okay, flight control, that's not good. Stole the base from me. Get this person out of the way. Yeah, we gotta kill the healer. The healer has been a nuisance. team is doing <laughs> but then again we do have one silver versus three the thing is that there are toads on that that team so the matchmaking just pretty much cheated us Ooh. 
Ooh. We failed a lot of damage because there was a lot of uh, a lot of lag and a lot of. Uh, I'll do this between the lag and the uh, the range types. There's a lot of range types. Okay. We distracted them at their base, but man, it's tough dealing with a bunch of rage types. They got three of them over there. It's a lot harder dealing with rage types on base when you're a rage type because they make you hold that damage. Especially if you don't have any. We don't need all the bases. Okay. We lost our defense type. I gotta eat that. I gotta eat that. Ugh. The rage type killed our attack. It's a whole lot of damage that I had to deal with. Damage over time from multiple range types. Which wouldn't be too bad, but coupled with the lag and the lack of experienced teammates. Yeah, it was, it was tough. 
It was tough. So we'll play one more and then uh, we'll end the stream there. We'll see. Hopefully it's a combat battle. That we can showcase both of those. But yeah, hopefully um, everyone got uh, some good knowledge today on how to play each class. I'll probably, uh, once this video is finished, I'll probably put timestamps. Just going over um, the movement part portion, the my uh, thoughts on each range of Jutsu. Okay, we got a combat. And it looks like we got some more low levels. Um, we'll use. I guess we're using the same thing. <laughs> Amats, we're using our base battle bits for this. Because I didn't switch in, the, switch in time. At least they increased the, uh, the time for, indec for indecisive people like me. <laughs> But we have two healers. <laughs> we'll see how this goes with two healers. Because I'm going to have to be all the damage. If they don't have a healer, then we'll be good. Oh no. One of the healers switched to attack type. They do got a healer though. It's going to be... And more silvers? That mixed us... Uh, I guess it's not too bad. This healer gave these ace... On the other team, rank two. I guess it's my level they're trying to balance out. Let's see. Oh, we have to eat that. We're definitely not good there. We was, but not anymore. Ooh. We ate that, ate that. Bad, this is a bad angle. Hey, we actually got a scroll. So bad it's when I was dead. Teammates got taken out probably by an ultimate. And Ace is about to run into the enemy's den. Yep. Alright. Gotta get rid of him real quick. 
Sí. Uh, just help that. Where's our healer at? No, we have to hold that. We are only silver got one kill. And that guy is standing right there in front of his Susano. Okay. So two losses on the end. <laughs> End of the stream. But yeah, the balancing has been really bad for me in this. They gave him three silvers and they gave me Izuna, which he is a silver, but I don't think he's as good as the other ones. So, and the thing that was bad about the balancing is that um, all these were all we could all be toads, you know. So they didn't. So they didn't mix us really well. So they should have put the level two on our team on their team and given us both of the level fours, so that they have three silvers and uh, a level two, and then we have two silver or well, one platinum, one silver, and then two level fours would have been balanced, more balanced, I guess. But yep, that'll about do it. Appreciate everyone for coming through to the stream, and I will see you guys next time. Your boy Yuda out.